Hey everyone, it's currently Friday afternoon and the AMC just released a huge announcement about the MCAT for this summer. There are quite a lot of details, so I wanted to walk through all of them in this video and provide you my thoughts on how students should be adjusting their MCAT preparation for the summer. Overall, I think these changes are really good for students planning on applying to medical school this summer. And for students that weren't sure if they should take the MCAT this summer, you should highly consider taking the MCAT this summer. And that's because the MCAT has been shortened and it's a really rare opportunity for students to be able to take a shorter version of the MCAT. All right, so now let's walk through each of these changes. Number one, MCAT registration is going to open on May 7th. I think this makes a lot of sense because in this video, I'm gonna talk about a lot of the changes they're making and it's not quite clear what's gonna to happen to students that are currently registered for the exam. So the AMC has more details that they need to work out. And I think the good news is by telling students when registration is gonna open, students don't have to worry about refreshing the webpage every hour trying to figure out when registration is gonna open up again, just wait until May 7th. All right, the second change is that they have added three new test dates, June 28th, September 27th, and September 28th. Now, the September test dates make a lot of sense because they're many months away. As we know, right now, COVID-19 is very serious all around the world right now, and the situation is improving, but slowly. September, though, should be perfectly fine. So students who take the September test dates should not have any issues uh, with their test dates getting canceled. The interesting test date is June 28th, and the reason why the AMC added this date is most likely for students that want to apply to medical school this summer. As you know, when applying to medical school, you want to submit your application as early as possible, and that's because submitting a late application can reduce your chances of getting accepted to medical school. And with all the test dates getting canceled in March, April, and May, a lot of students were actually concerned that that was gonna delay their application and reduce their chances of getting admitted this year. So the June 28th test date indicates that the AMC still wants students to apply to medical school this summer. And there are several changes that are going to facilitate this. Number one, the MCAT scores for the summer are gonna be released in about two weeks instead of a month. And another change is that earlier this week, AMCAS announced that verified applications were going to be transmitted to medical schools on July 10th instead of June 26th. Everything has been shifted back by two weeks. And this is really good because if you take the exam on June 28th, you're going to get your score back on July 14th. That's early enough that if you apply to medical school this summer with that June 28th test date, you'll still be considered an early applicant in the cycle. Right, so that's likely the reason why they added the June 28th test date. Okay, the next change is that the MCAT is going to be offered three times on each test date this summer at 6.30 a.m., 12.15 p.m., and 6 p.m. If you look at the time in between each time, you're going to see that it's five hours, 45 minutes. That is the new length of the MCAT this summer, five hours, 45 minutes. Now, that sounds great, right? Taking a shorter MCAT exam. And I would say this is great for most students. One of the reasons why the MCAT is such a hard exam is because it's so hard to maintain focus through a seven and a half hour exam. So if you know taking a long exam is hard for you, you should really consider taking the MCAT this summer because it is a shorter exam. That is fantastic. Now, the five hours, 45 minutes isn't even the whole time that you're completing questions, right? The AMC has released this testing uh, schedule for this revised summer exam. And you can see that this new schedule has all four sections of the exam at 76 minutes. Now, to give you some idea of what the normal MCAT is like, Normally, the science sections are 95 minutes long and the car section is 90 minutes. So this is significantly shorter than the normal version of MCAT. Now, because the exam is shorter, the, the breaks, the mid-exam break is no longer 30 minutes. That used to be 30 minutes for lunch break, but now it's just 10 minutes. But that's fine because the exam is short enough now that students can take the exam, entire exam without needing such a long break in the middle. One thing I do want to say here, though, is that the AMC does need to do some more thinking about these timing because 
for the science sections in the normal exam, it's 95 minutes for 59 questions. For the car section, it's 90 minutes for 53 questions. The car section actually has more time per question than the science sections. That's not the case in what they showed here. All right. So I expect the AMC probably within a few days or a week to release a new schedule where the number of questions in cars has been reduced, maybe to like 44 to match the original timing. If they don't change the timing, it doesn't make sense because then they're kind of making the car section harder by giving students less time. But again, I expect the AMC to make this correction. Okay. So the exam is shorter. That's great. A few key things to think about. Number one, the MCAT is now offered at 6.30 a.m., 12.15, and 6 p.m. When registration opens, I guarantee you that the 12.15 p.m. time slot is gonna be the most popular. And that's because if you take the 6.30 a.m. exam, you have to wake up at 4.30 a.m. to 5 a.m. to get to your testing center. If you take the 6 p.m. exam, you're gonna be finishing the exam close to midnight, all right? Now, I make it sound like those are bad things, but those are actually good for many students. Some students really like waking up early in the morning and some students are night owls and will be thrilled to hear that they can sleep in until noon and still be able to take the exam later that day, right? So the times you have to pick which slot is gonna be best for you. And you know yourself as an individual, are you a morning person, or are you an evening person? Most students are gonna prefer the 12, 15 p.m. time slot. Now, whatever time slot you pick, you have to make sure you do your practice based on that timing. So if you take, uh, if you sign up for a 6.30 a.m. time slot, all of your practice exams should be taken at 6.30 a.m. If you sign up for a 6 p.m. time slot, same thing. All of your practice questions and practice exams should be taken at 6 p.m. You should always do your best to emulate testing conditions. Now, one thing I'm gonna say is that the current practice exams that the AMC has released do not match the shortened MCAT exam, right? And it doesn't make sense for you to take a normal MCAT practice exam if your exam this summer isn't gonna be that length. So what you need to do is modify your practice exams accordingly. So instead of doing 59 science questions in the chem phys section, you should cut yourself off at 48 questions. Uh, and this way you can still time yourself at 76 minutes. So you're doing the length of a section that you should be doing as opposed to uh, the current practice exams that are available from AMC. Now, it gets a little tricky here because not all passages are gonna finish right at question 48. So for some practice exams, passage seven might be questions 47 to 50, right? So there's some things that you're going to want to tweak here to make sure you're doing a practice exam that makes sense and you're not doing a practice passage with one question or two questions. Now, if you're a current med school coach MCAT tutoring student, you won't have to worry about this. And that's because over the next week, we're going to work on uh, putting together a practice schedule for all of the AMC questions that I can follow that will follow this timing for the shorter five hour, 45 minute exam. So you don't have to do any thinking to figure out how you should be adjusting your approach for the AMC questions. Uh, but the main point here is if you're taking a shorter exam at a different time, your practice should reflect that as well. Okay, so that is some of the major changes to MCAT. Another announcement that the AMC also made is that uh, for students that are currently registered for a May 29th test date, it might be possible that your uh, exam may still be held. It might be possible that it gets canceled. The AMC says that next week they're going to release more information uh, about whether or not students are going to be able to keep that May 29th test date. So stay tuned for more information. All right, so those are most of the major changes for the MCAT this summer. As I said, registration will open on May 7th. The MCAT is going to be offered three times per day. There are three new test dates, and the MCAT has been shortened to five hours, 45 minutes. This is a really, really good reason to take the MCAT this summer. A shorter exam is going to be much easier than the typical long seven and a half hour exam.
And something I want to throw out there, if any of you are looking for help with MCAT preparation, certainly at Med School Coach, we're here to help. The average score improvement for our students from either a previous MCAT score or a diagnostic test taken at the beginning of your MCAT prep is 10 points. The other thing I'll mention is we are releasing an MCAT app and this MCAT app is really gonna be amazing for students' MCAT preparation. You're going to be able to watch MCAT videos on your mobile apps going through a lot of the science content you need to know for the exam. And soon we're gonna be releasing additional features like flashcards, practice questions, notes, and more. So definitely make sure you check that out.